Hello there, Tarquin Farquhar the third here from a long line of Farquhars dating back to Charlemagne. Well, I'm a self-confessed rugger bugger. And I'd like to give you more of an insight into a rugger bugger's life. Well, take last night for instance. I came home from the city after a hard day's graft there, you know. Came home to my long-suffering rugby widow of a wife, Pandora. Meal was on the table, I drank... I ate that and drank a couple of glasses of Chardonnay and then I said to her, well I'm off down the rugger club now. And she said, want to see your um, old uh, Fartonian friends? I said, uh, that's about right. She said, well I'll see you when I see you then. And I said, and your point is? She said, I'm making no point, just making a statement, she said. So I remember once you went down that rugby club to see your old chums and you just disappeared for five days and ended up in a rugby tour in, in Bangkok, Thailand. I said, well? She said, well, nothing. Just making a statement again. So I goes down the old rugby club last night, met me old chums down there, you know. Charles and Tarquin and a few of the others, you know. And... Well, we were discussing our plans to go on the British and Irons, Irish Lions rugby tour to to Australia next year. Well, I came up with a good itinerary. I said, well, on the way out, I said, we'll, we'll stop off in, in Hong Kong. I said, go down to Wan Chai. I said, as one does, see how the local fillers are getting on there. I said, we go Happy Valley Racing, I said, because we like the little horse racing. I said, and over to Macau, I said, yes, to do a bit of gambling in the casinos there. I spend about three days there, I said, and then fly off to Australia. You know, watch a few of the old rugger games, you know, there. Take the piss out of the locals, because those, those Aussies are fair game as far as I'm concerned, you know. Yeah, drink some of their wines. They ain't up to much. But, you know, you have to drink it. Because you wouldn't drink their beer, would you? Oh my God, no! That's just cold piss, and it really the the reason why they make it so cold over there is because you know it's got no taste to it. Bloody awful stuff, you know. I'd probably drink some champagne while while we're over there, you know. At least they import that from France, don't they? You know, take the mick out of the Aussies and basically have a good time, you know, because it can be a bit of fun every now and again, you know, when you knock that chip off their shoulder, you know. And there you go. And then on the way back, well, we've got to stop for rest and recuperation in Bangkok, haven't we, you know? Yeah, we shall, we shall spend at least three or four days there, you know. Seeing a few of the old lady boys, the old shims, see how they're getting on, you know, get a few into our old haunts. You know, we've been there quite a few times now when they're on rugby tour and then come home to the old trout, I suppose, and have a further little rest. And then, you know, it starts all over again, you know. Down the old rugger club, getting forti fortified because we never get drunk and watching the game of rugger and just singing rugby songs and reminiscing about old games and old internationals. And that's a further insight into a rugger bugger's life. Um, yes, well there you go. You can come and join us if you're a male and you used to play rugby or you just like the game. Come on down to your local rugby club and join us. Okay then, Parkway Farquhar III signing off.